Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your November monthly reading. I'll begin right away with a general tarot, then I'll clarify that reading with another deck. I'll finish up the video for you with an oracle card or two. Alright, let's see your current energy for the end of November. Going into December for Sag. This one. Ooh, Nine of Wands. So you're almost done a fiery cycle. You're feeling a little bit defensive and you're still tapping in though to that inner fire so that you can end this cycle. I feel like you really want to end this cycle. So you're feeling really determined right now and focused. And yeah, the queen of swords, you're super focused intellectually. You might have your emotions a little bit behind bars here right now, but there's just a major focus happening here. That's what I'm feeling. And it feels really, it feels positive, it feels empowering. Ooh, King of Pentacles, okay. So past our outside influence, there is this King of Pentacles in your life. There's a wolf there too. I'm gonna pull one more because there is more to this energy. Could be an earth sign. Ooh, okay. Too many. Oh, there we go. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that's what I was feeling. So funny, this flies out. I feel like this King of Pentacles broke your heart. There was some type of heartbreak, betrayal. Something happened where you are either having to walk away from this or you're ending the cycle. Because you're looking at the King of Pentacles. You can see, let's just get into it. You're looking at this King of Pentacles and you're screaming, you're, you're trying to express your feelings, express your broken heart, and he just seems to be indifferent or cannot understand you or is too focused on work or finances and that is causing you to have this broken heart. Okay, Sagittarius, let's keep going. Let's see the blocks and lessons. Blocks and lessons for Sag. I saw the four of pentacles fly out, so that could be relevant. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You, actually I'm just gonna do it together because it came out with the five of pentacles. So I feel like the block or the lesson is that you're still in poverty mentality here with the five of pentacles you're worried about your finances you do want to start a new cycle here with the ace but there is a lot of anxiety still looming around your finances and your material safety and your material world whoa this is an intense reading November is a pretty intense month, so. <laughs> All right, one more. Or actually, let's let's see how your person or situation feels about you if it's a love reading. Sorry, my words are like stuck. King of Cups reversed. I only do reversals if it flies out that way. So this is coming above the King of Pentacles. I feel like this is actually about the same person. They were not in touch with their emotions. They weren't able to tap into their intuitive side or they weren't willing to go there with you emotionally. And that is part of why you were heartbroken. That is sad, I feel that. All right, let's clarify this. King of Cups reversed. This is a love reading for you. Whew. This one and the wheel yeah you want to be in charge of your own reality you want to be on top of your own destiny your own world your own vibe you don't want to be in this three of swords anymore you want the wheel to turn for the better even if it means like ending this cycle here with the nine of wands you're almost 
you're actually deciding or wondering if you're gonna end this cycle, you want to end the cycle, but you're not quite there yet. Okay, a seven of pentacles. So intentions for you, you're planting those roots. You're in planning mode too with the seven of pentacles. Also healing work, you can see he's helping the plant to grow. So it's using, using your healing energy, your healing vibe to create roots in the material world. You can take the emotional and turn it into the material. All right, let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, Four Sag. Ooh, Death Rebirth. So you're having the death of the ego and you're realizing that you can have this rebirth moment that even though your ego was part of possibly this five of pentacles feeling here you're willing to let that go and be reborn again to have this new beginning with the ace of pentacles here all right let's see the message from the universe for Sag. The fire is still going in the background, so that's a good sign for some of the readings. They were, it was just going out, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Nida comes. Message from the universe, be open to romance, always. This is the card. This is actually feeling really lighthearted, and this will help you to move out of the five of pentacles, tapping more into the love vibes, too. If you're not really feeling the full love reading right now, it's just tapping into that romantic love vibe within yourself. <laughs> Be romantic with yourself, I guess. Oh. And the two of pentacles, and then finding that balance between work and play, work and romance. And I do, I do like the ace of pentacles, going to the two of pentacles so the coins will be building or already building and that will help you to get out of the five of pentacles poverty mentality vibe because that is just like clear that out don't want that anymore let go of that feeling oh and yeah the magician flies out so your person or situation is seeing you as starting to create what you want it could be vice versa. They're starting to create what they want for themselves. I like it with the wheel too. Really starting to move things forward, especially after this death moment, rebirth moment. And then the sun is coming in, as I said, rebirth. So not being afraid to let go of the past, whatever needs to die, basically <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Especially the ego. Anyone's ego. Let, let that go too. If it was someone else's ego that was brought into the mix, just forgive them and let that go. Okay. Message from the universe. Clarify this Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Four of Satch, moving forward. Ah. Four of Wands, completion. I feel like you are going to be ending that old cycle here, this Nine of Wands. This is coming to a completion, and then your new wheel will start over here. It was just, the King of Cups reversed, because I never do reversals, or I don't shuffle them that way. It's really confirming for me that, unfortunately, your person won't be able to tap into their emotional side anytime soon. And I feel like that is just not going to be fulfilling for you in the long run. Yeah. Okay, let's get an oracle card. Finish this on a positive note. For Sag. Oh, this one. Death and rebirth, darkness to light. Oh, wow. Again, this matches the, obviously, death rebirth card <laughs> from... But at least you're going from darkness to light and not the other way around. And you have these sweet panthers, jaguars on your back. It's more like a panther. 
have to check the book and see what animal that is. Wow, though, what a powerful card. Death and rebirth. Not to be afraid of the cycle of that, too. Everything comes to an end and is reborn again. All right, one more card. Feeling it. One more card for Sagittarius for November, moving into December. I moved this month to the mountains, so I didn't get a chance to do all the readings. But let's see what the message is. Yes, honor the cycles. Exactly. I feel like that was part of my lesson too. I just had to honor the cycle that I was going through. I was traveling, stuck in the weather, and it just wasn't the vibe for doing the reading. And I just had to honor that within myself instead of giving you not a fake reading, but I just would rather give an authentic reading. So that could be part of the lesson for you too. Just to honor that within yourself when you need to rest. So important. All right, Taj, I hope you found some clarity from this reading. Enjoy the rest of November. Hope to see you for the December monthlies. Bye for now.